Now, the three factors of the study of economics or rather on which economics is based is the consumption, production and distribution. Now, when I talk of consumption, consumption is what we consume, what we intake, what we use, that is the consumption. For example, an ordinary person, whatever he is making use of in a layman's term is consumption. Now, production is when a person is producing from the raw material to the finished goods. The two agents involved in production could be the owner of the factory and the worker of the factory. Then comes the distribution. In the distribution, in the study of economics, the most important point is the distribution of income. That is who gets how much and why. The GDP that is the gross domestic pro that we have is not actually meant for one person. For example, if I say that the income, the average income of an Indian is 10,000 rupees, it does not mean that all of us get 10,000 rupees. There will be people who will be getting in lakhs and there will be people getting in hundreds. So, the distribution of income is very, very important and thus the three factors on which the study of economics is based is consumption, production and distribution. But there are certain social significant factors which cannot be attributed, which cannot be calculated in these three areas. And thus, the study of economics is divided into two, the microeconomics and the macroeconomics. Micro means small and macro means big. In the micro, we include the household, the firms, the factories, whereas in macro, it is the study of poverty, unemployment, health activities and so on. Something which is associated with large number of population, with in fact most of the population of the country and which is associated with few handful of people is the study of microeconomics.